grab a collie stick, and let's go work on these five essential stick fighting drills. I'm gonna head over to Bob over here and uh, show you what I mean with these drills. Let's go. If you don't have a bob or a heavy bag or something to strike, like a tire or something, that's totally fine. You can work all these drills just you know in the air, striking your weapon in the air. And it's a good idea to work both variations. Work in the air, so that way you're building ultimate control and mechanics. And then also make sure you have something to hit, like a bob, a tire, or a heavy bag, so that we could also work on that impact training. Our first essential drill when it comes to development in our stick fighting is the simple X strike, which is a combination of our angle one and our angle two. You see me teach this a lot here because the fundamental strikes, this is the foundation of all your other strikes. We have our angle one and our angle two. Just start slowly and over time you can increase power and speed. When you're working on your X strikes, you can change up the targets. Now, I can strike in front of Bob, visualizing where his uh, weapon hand would be at. I can also come in striking right to the head, right to the temple, the bridge of the eyes. We can change the target to the neck or even to the collarbones and the shoulders. And we can even kind of come lower and start striking towards the ribs or even lower down towards the knees. You know, maybe you have a, a longer heavy bag or a whole tire stack like right behind me. Okay, but make sure that we're training, pulling our strikes through on our angle one and on our angle two. It's important that we do the impact training. That's why we're focusing on that in this video. So that way we're working not only the power in the strikes, but more importantly, the follow through of the strikes. Drill number two is our redondo. From here, I'm gonna strike horizontal right across the head. As I follow through, I'm coming around my head, little hidden umbrella block right there, and then I'm gonna fire it again. So the redondo is circular motion. It's a repeating motion. So one, two strikes right there on one continuous loop. Then we're gonna do the same thing, but off the backhand side. I'm gonna strike all the way through. Here's the outside umbrella, and then hit it again. So we'll combine forehand and backhand to build one drill. Again, we can even change the target and hit more to the low. Or if you wanted to, you can hit all the way down to where the knee would be. Our next drill is our broken X. This is where we're gonna use a broken one. We're learning the three energies of strikes within these five drills. Our first energy from our first drill is that we learned about this fluid strike. And the fluid strike is where we're striking all the way through the center line, starting from one side of the body, ending on the other side of the body. Then in our second drill, we worked on our circular energy where we started on one side, went all the way through, and then end, ended back on the original side. The third energy is our broken strikes. And this is where we hit to the center and then retract back to the original starting point or starting side of the strike. So on our broken X, we strike a broken angle one and we follow that through with our fluid one and two. So we've broken one, two. Broken, one, two. A lot of ways that we could train this, we can obviously first want to make sure we're training the impact right here, hitting with the broken strike and then following it up. Right there. 
Another way that we can train it is we can visualize the broken strike hitting the uh, hand of the opponent and then following up to the close quarter targets with the fluids. Again, we could change the targeting on all of these strikes. Right, we can target high, we can target low. And we can alternate that, boom, all the way as we're continuing with the flow. Our third drill is the broken two. And this is just a great way to train the broken energy off of the backhand side, but we're also changing the order of energy as we're striking. So our first, our previous, our previous drill, we started with the broken strike and then went to the fluids. In this drill, we're mixing up the order. I'm gonna start with a fluid strike, go to a broken two, and then end with another fluid strike. This is gonna change that coordination, challenge the coordination to make sure that we are developing ultimate control over our weapon. Again, we could be creative here with the training. We can change up the elevation, change up the targets. Maybe I go for the head smash the collarbone and then go right to the head again you can even change that last strike from a diagonal to a horizontal to really put in a strong finishing blow another thing we can do especially if we have something to train with like a heavy bag or bob is we can start simulating the changes of range i can attack the hand right with that first number one going fluid and then entering behind the broken two and then following up with that fluid, powerful angle two. That combination right there, fluid to the hand, entering in with a broken two and a fluid two, that's a high percentage combination when you're sparring. Stick fighting drill number five, our last one for this series, is an absolute must because this is where we're learning how every slash can become a thrust and every thrust can then become a slash. We want our different striking tactics to be able to work together and blend seamlessly with the transitions. So for drill number five, we're gonna slash and thrust. Slash and thrust. All right, so we're working on a forehand slash becoming a backhand thrust, and then a backhand slash becoming a forehand thrust. Now you can change up the targets here. Okay. You can even start playing on the horizontal line and then come back with the thrust or horizontal low thrust. Horizontal low thrust. Another variation is that we can strike up on the diagonal and thrust up on the diagonal and thrust. And that's our first variation there is going slash to thrust, slash to thrust. As a bonus, we can also change the orientation of this drill. We did slash thrust, which also means we can do thrust slash. So as an example, I can go into my thrust high and then slash low. Thrust high, slash low. Experiment, explore, and play around with the different variations that you can come up with. All right, my friends, that is five essential collie stick fighting drills. You have to be practicing these drills because they will enhance your stick fighting game and your overall collie performance. Think a little bit outside the box here. We're just working these movements 
off of the single stick, but can they also be done on the double stick, on the knife, on a spotty adaga, or what about your empty hands? This is how you want to be thinking in Kali. It's all about the transference of skill. If we can do one set of tactics and techniques with one weapon, then we should be able to apply the same set of principles across all other categories of weapons and the empty hands. That right there is the essence of Filipino martial arts. Okay, get out there, go train. If you need gear, head over to KaliCenter.com. Check out our store. You can order sticks, training knives. We'll take care of you right over there. Now, if you really want to take your Kali training to a whole new height, then make sure to join us inside of our online school. We have our huge on-demand video library. We do monthly live stream classes, and we even do one-on-one -on -one personalized private training so we can tailor your training to your specific goals that you are looking to achieve with your Kali training. You can find all the information on our online school or join today over at KaliCenter.com. I got the links to everything in the description below the video. Thanks for joining me today. Now get out there and go train.